Greetings, friends. I'm pleased to speak with you today about Swickley Academy's new Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Social Justice Plan. This plan is the most recent expression of Swickley Academy's longstanding commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice. For example, in the late 1970s, then headmaster Cliff Nichols and the Board of Trustees determined that to ensure the long-term strength of the school, they would have to diversify their geographical reach, enrolling students and welcoming families to the school from across the region. By 1985, in fact, almost half of the school's students did not live in Sewickley. In the 1990s, then headmaster Ham Clark and the board chair Ron Gebhardt took the lead in establishing the Fund for Advancement of Minorities through education, also bringing Breakthrough Pittsburgh, formerly known as Summerbridge Pittsburgh, to our campus. Ham also hired our first diversity director in 2002. Students have also played a role over the years in moving us forward. Student Zarita Brees founded the African American Club, the first of many subsequent culture clubs. And in 2002, students formed our Student Gay Straight Alliance. More recently, the Student Diversity Leadership Club has been a major driver among students in all three divisions, reflecting on increasing focus, on promoting and supporting student leadership. Over the years, significant strides have been made, including in the evolution of the Office of Diversity, which became the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion in 2017, and the establishment of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Center in the senior school the same year. From 2015 through the present, Swickley Academy has adopted the National Seeking Educational Equity and Diversity SEED protocols with 12 trained faculty members. In just the past five years, we have conducted 19 professional development workshops for all faculty and staff using the SEED framework to strengthen cultural language and competency. Also in 2017, the first student-led Learning Equity, Acceptance, and Diversity LEAD conference was held, a conference that has become an annual draw for students across the Pittsburgh region. I share this history with you because the change we have experienced as a school has been long-term, steady, and incremental, building carefully on the work of predecessors and setting the stage for what is yet to come. For those expecting an immediate and dramatic change, I encourage you to look through this history. We are moving forward. We continue to do so, but the school is not changing overnight because people don't change overnight. The changes that we make will begin with people where they are and provide them the opportunities to engage and learn. What is different now versus the past is that for the first time, we have a defined path forward and a clear vision for our future. We have also defined incremental and sustainable strategies we will employ to get where we want to be. Greetings to the Sewickley Academy community. As a proud alumnus of the school and now a trustee, I had the privilege to lead both the strategic planning process and the more recent work to develop our diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice plan. Goal three of our strategic plan, Envision SA 2024, called on us to develop a comprehensive way to support our commitments to diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice. The outcome of more than a year and a half of work and engaging hundreds of members of our community, including faculty, staff, parents, alumni, community leaders, and students, through surveys, interviews, focus groups, and a conference, the DEISJ plan reflects the shared views of our community and our collective hopes for the future. I am proud of our community and grateful for the engagement of so many individuals during both the strategic planning process and the one that led to our DEISJ plan, who have helped us to reach this important milestone. Rather than being propelled by external forces, 
we have deliberately and thoughtfully harnessed our increasing internal momentum in this vital work. Thank you, Kate and Doug, for your incomparable leadership of and service to our school. And hello to the Swickley Academy community. This year has been one of tremendous challenge and change. So I'm particularly proud that through it all, our community has been able to keep moving forward, not just surviving, but thriving. Thriving, of course, is what we want for our community, especially our students who will be the prime beneficiaries of the work that is reflected in our new DEISJ plan. We know that there is a set of learnable skills and dispositions in this area that schools need to teach their students so that their graduates can go forth with confidence, not just in their command of their academic learning, something that Swickley Academy has always done really well, but also with the assurance of knowing and understanding ultimately who they are and how they can contribute to the strength of any community to which they belong in the future. Having the language and the ability to manage sometimes tricky conversations are essential to future success. So we know that we need to be more intentional than ever to ensure our students learn what they need to know before they leave us. We recognize that this sort of learning does not happen overnight. So we cherish the time we have with our students as they progress from pre-kindergarten to grade 12. In an age appropriate way, students will develop the skills necessary to meet the demands of each stage of their journey and when they graduate they will pass through these doors with confidence knowing their own worth and how they can contribute to the greater good in whatever community they join as we move forward i think it's critically important that we recognize that we're all in this together and that we have arrived at this point in the school's history only because of those who've come before us I want to acknowledge and thank all the many people whose contributions, both large and small, have led to this particular moment. My hope is that our work today will make us worthy of the respect and appreciation of those who one day will follow us. For now, however, I feel fortunate to join with my colleagues on the faculty and staff with the unerring support of our Board of Trustees to realize our collective vision for this wonderful school and for our students who, ultimately, are the reasons for our efforts. Thank you. <laughs>